Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be decorating some pages for my memory journal. I have the new memory line or memory, memory collection type line from the Happy Planner and I set this up in a video already uh, with some extra pages from some of the other memory keeping type journals and extension packs and I've decided that I'm not gonna like really care about the order of how I I'm gonna memory keep in here I kind of just want to pick like depending on the pictures pick the pages that I think will be the most appropriate to use for what I'm thinking so I have some pictures already I used these really cute envelopes to store my pictures that I already printed out at Walmart and I'm gonna use these two pages because I really like um, this one is a sheet from the cardstock paper that they have. It's another, um, it's a, actually I don't have it with me. Yeah, but it's, it's like basically just a big pad of paper that has a bunch of different cardstock, which I really, really like because I put some of those already in here. There was this one in here too, which is really cute. But I really like this one. Um, I'm going to be documenting the day I went to Disney when Disneyland finally opened here in California, which was, oh gosh, was that end of April? I think I went with my friend Tina, who you might know on Instagram, uh, Planner Girl Tina. And we went, the first day it was open, which was super exciting. It was, it was really nice to be back at Disneyland. So I have some pictures that I printed out. I have a couple of four by sixes that I printed out. Um, and then I also have some, I, I, I did a four by six and I printed these out and then cut them. So they started off like this size, the same size as that, but I used a photo app, which is called um, oh my gosh, pick stitch. And I, I was able to put my pictures in here, change the aspect to four by four by six. So I can get all of these on a four by six print. And then I just cut them out and I did the same with these two. I just made smaller versions. So I'm going to put some different sizes in here and just kind of play around with these a little bit in here. Um, I'm going to, of course, I'm going to use the Mickey sticker books. I have a few of them. Actually, I actually have all of them because I just love the Mickey and Minnie collection from that the Happy Planner's been coming out with. So, so yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do. Just document the day with some pictures. Um, I'm like horrible at taking pictures. Like I always forget to take pictures when I'm doing stuff. Uh, so thankfully Tina took that picture of us in front of the little mini statue. And then I got a good one of Walt with Mickey in front of the castle. That one was so cute. It was such a nice day, but it was so hot. It was so hot that day. And then we had to wear a mask. So yeah, it was even hotter. But we did have some really good food. So definitely want to add these. I did see some of the characters, which these were really cute. Um, Tigger, Winnie the Pooh, and Eeyore. We were able to see them. So yeah. Just gonna document these oh and i do have one other sheet of stickers that i want to incorporate in here because i ordered them from alicia from uh i think her shop's alicia michelle i'll link it in the description but she has this awesome disney sticker sheet it's perfect so i'm going to be using this with my happy planner disney stickers all right so i'm gonna get to it Okay, so I'm gonna take these pages out because it'll be easier to work on them, not on the disc. Oh, you know what's another thing I could do? I could totally flip this paper and use this side. I think I like this side better for, yeah, this. So yeah, if you um, get this cardstock, it's, it's already pre-punched. And since these are more geometric types uh, patterns, you can flip them and use either side how you would like. So those are cool. Um, only some of them will work that way, but thankfully that one did work where I can use it this way instead. I think that'll be a lot better. All right, so I do want to put this over here, and then I think I'm going to cut this down a little bit because it is quite big. So I'm going to try to trim around this a little bit. Just cut out the pieces I don't need or want in the picture. Definitely don't want to cut out the castle. 
in the background. Um, I'll probably cut out, maybe I'll cut out the little gate. Um, well, maybe not. I'll cut out a little bit at a time first. I'll cut a little bit of the sky. Okay, I think that works. I just want it a little bit smaller so it's not the same size as this picture because I do want to kind of overlap them together in a way. Maybe like that. Okay. And then, okay, I want to see about these pictures or these stickers too. Like the happiest place on earth. I feel like that should go over here somewhere. And, or I could use some big Mambi sticks too. I also like this little home. Let me get some wax paper. Okay, so I got a little piece of wax paper. So I really like this castle. So I feel like this should go over here. And then I have this happiest place on earth. Or even like this little bow is really cute. And I could stick a bow down here, maybe. I kind of want to find my, um, what's it called? My letters. I was thinking of adding letters, but I don't know. I don't know if I should. Okay, I think I'm going to lay it like that on that side. And then my other pictures... It's, I always take pictures of the food because um, it's so good just to document it so I have those and then I have these which were funny I also want to leave space for like writing things in too. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to tape these down because I know for sure this is going to stay this way. Okay, I think I'm going to put this little home down here. And I have these like little stars. Those stickers are adorable. Really cute. All right, and then, oh, I do want to add some of the Disney stuff too. Let's see. Oh, there's a friends one. This one's cute, life is better with friends. See what else I can find in here. Oh, the Mickey heads are cute. I'll maybe add those in a bit. Okay. I really like how that's turning out. All right. Over here, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Um, oh, I have a, a sticker for this too. This one, the Watch Me Whip for the Dole Whip. Oh my gosh, that one was so good. And since it was so hot, it was like the perfect thing to have at the end of the day. Yeah, so I can do that, obviously, with that picture. Um, okay, I got a couple more of my books because I want some boxes that I can write in. I really like this one. Use this over here. Kind of like how things are a little bit slanted and not perfect. Yeah, I'm really liking that look. And then maybe I could add one down here. If I 
I can find a good one, hopefully. This one with Mickey's cute. Cute. And those will be boxes that I can write in. Oh my gosh, I'm loving the way that side looks. It's too adorable. Okay, on to this side. So, I do have another box with Mickey with the foil. That would be cute to use. I'm going to put this over here. So, okay. So, I took these pictures and then I just took them. And then um, when I was posting about it the next day, um, I kind of, I did like a, a story, I think. And I put these three together and I felt like it was, it kind of depicted the emotions of the day, <laughs> I want to say. So, we have Pooh, who is... Um, like anxiously, I felt like that was like us when we were anxiously waiting to get in because we were standing in line for, I don't remember if it was like an hour or something, but we were waiting to get in line. They actually let us in early. So I think because the line got so long because people got there very early. Um, so that was us waiting in line. And then while we're there, just like wanting to see everything. So like super excited, like Tigger. Of course, he's always excited. And then at the end of the day, just like sad to leave. So of course, little Eeyore, so sad. <laughs> so those were the emotions of the day. So I thought that was funny. Um, so I think I wanna like put that, like kind of do the same thing in here where I um, mentioned that in here. Um, so I need to find something where I can write that out. So I changed my mind on the um, position. So I'm going to put these on the bottom. I think I'm just going to like angle these a little bit just to play off like the angles on that side. And then I'll just write around here like what those little um, emotions were that uh, we were going through that day. That super fun day. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. And then over here, I'm just going to angle things again just to again well this one I might keep it straight um but yeah I'm loving how this looks it's so much fun so I'm gonna tape these down since I'm just going to write around it when I journal when I get to that part so just trying to get the position a little bit better Okay, let me tape these down. All right, so I got those down. This, I want to put, I think I'm going to put this here to journal about this a little bit. So let me tape these down too. This was a mint julep. Oh my God, they're so good. Oh no, I don't know. I think I gave myself enough room. Oh no, it's fine. But yeah, that drink is so refreshing, especially on a very, very hot day. It's one of my favorites to have there. And then we had the Monte Cristo sandwiches, which is so good. Delicious. <laughs> that was Tina's recommendation. So, so happy she recommended those. And then I'm gonna put this here to journal about that. I do have some little like treats that I can stick. Maybe I should stick this here. No, I don't want to cover Mickey. I'm going to stick one of these somewhere. I also have a little pretzel in the shape of Mickey, which is cute. That I could stick around here too. All right, but I'm going to get this one down first. Because um, I want to figure out this. Okay, I think the whip, watch me whip, should go on this side. Yeah, so I'm going to give myself a little space. I'll probably find a box for this too. And put this here. Okay, and I'm gonna put this cute little Watch Me Whip sticker. If you haven't had a Dole Whip, definitely have to get one of those when you go um, because they are so good. All right, let me find a box for here. I've gone with bl black boxes, so I guess I'll try to find another black box. I have this one, so. Let me use this one and then I will cover up that little um, notch. 
with, I mean, I could use this. Oh, you know what? I, maybe a Mickey head. I'm going to do a Mickey head. need stuff over here though to cover up fill in this spot um i do have these quotes and i do have like yeah i'm gonna try to use a couple of these too um this just mousing around is really cute It's cute. And then I have the happiest place on earth. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit that anywhere. No. Okay. Um, I have this best day ever. A little balloon. It's really cute. I have anywhere to fit this one either okay no i can save those for something else so that's fine but i do want to add some of these little stars to tie in the stars over there here cute you know what instead of this box i'm liking this one a little bit more because i can't really see the mickey with the foil so I think, okay, instead of taking it off, I'm just going to stick it right on top. I think this will be better. If I can line it up right. Yeah, I like that better. There's a little piece hanging off. I'm going to pull off that. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I love it. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in, I'm going to journal a little bit in the boxes that I um, put on the page. I did want to write around these a little bit. So I'm going to do that off camera because it's just a lot easier for me to make it look better. And um, yeah, not a mess. Oh, you know what? First... I do want to add these because I think they're super cute and I feel like they should go over here. So let me try to figure a way to add these over here. I guess I could just do that. Just put them in this corner like that. My little food section over here. Let's see. Yeah, that works cute so adorable all right yeah so i'm gonna start writing in the planner or in the, on these pages and then i will be back to probably just finish up the little finishing touches okay so i wrote everything down that i wanted on these two pages i'm gonna go in and finish off with some um, some more stickers and then some washi of course definitely have to add some of that I'm going to, I think, put this, I didn't know where I wanted to put this at first, but I think I'm going to put it, like, with the Tigger picture, since this one is, like, the excited one, the excited picture, the best day ever, so I think that looks good there, and then I found this little Mickey that I kind of want to put here, just to fill in this spot a little bit, like that, I think that's super adorable. I love that. Maybe I should find a mini over there on that side. Let's see if I can find a mini that I want to add. Oops. I have like these. Mm -hmm. Let's see in here. These are kind of small. Um, let's see, I could 
could do like the same type of mini. Up here. Okay, that's cute. All right, super, super cute. And then I do wanna add in some washi and I think, I'm just gonna layer them the way that I normally do. Cause there's already a lot going on. So this is just a good neutral washi to add. And I'll help hold down some of these pictures cause I really didn't do a good job putting them, putting enough um, sticky tape on the back. Okay, so put some there. And then again, I'm gonna layer this one on top. I like that layering effect. I feel like the polka dots go well with a Disney spread. Um, so I like that. So I'm going to do a couple more. Oh, I have this piece. Oops, I got some washi on my picture. put this one here like that so cute I love this so much all right and then I'm gonna put a few more pieces on this side so I added a few pieces I didn't add the polka dot on every single washi piece the grid washi and then I added a couple more on this side just so there were some without any of the layering because I like that too to having both of those um, on the page I think, okay, I have a few more of these little stars that I can add. They're cute little stars. So I'm gonna add a couple more. Do one there. I feel like I need more over here. Do a couple over here. Um, I just put this little one. Like that. So cute. Okay, I think I'm done. I love how it turned out. It's adorable. So I'm going to put this back in my journal. And I'm going to put it at the front now. Um, after this page. Yeah, so let me open this up. So, so cute. And again, I mean, I can change the order. Once I start, you know, doing more pages, I can change the order of how things are. But at least this will be more up in, in the front section. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I'm loving this. Again, like I plan on using this for like memory keeping the big moments that happen um, since I wasn't really into memory keeping like daily in a planner like how I do in my social media planner because there's really not that much to memory keep on a day-to-day -day basis in my life so this I'm loving I'm loving this new collection of memory journals so that way you know you can just create what you want um, on these pages and I'm loving how this turned out so I will make sure to link the sticker books if they're available still because I can't remember if these Disney stickers all of them are still available um and then also Alicia's stickers because these were really really adorable for this spread um but yeah loving how this turned out that is my my journaling spread my first journaling spread in my new memory keeping planner I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos please hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you guys all in the next one